I'm Coyote Peterson. Today we're at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, and I'm standing right outside of the Hummingbird Aviary. Let's head inside and see if we can get the cameras up close to some of these speedy little birds. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, located in the heart of Tucson Saguaro National Park, is world renowned for its collection of amazing animals. Considered a living museum, the conservation work they do helps to protect and preserve a number of native desert species. From Mexican wolves to bighorn sheep, their species survival programs have helped sustain and reintroduce populations of threatened animals to the wild where they once had vanished. However, not all of the animals that call the Desert Museum home are as large as wolves and sheep. And today we are getting, or should I say, we'll be trying to get, up close with the smallest birds in the Southwest. So excited, I absolutely love hummingbirds. All right, let's head into the aviary. You gotta move quick. We gotta go through a set of double doors. In you go, 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 go. Get that door closed and into the aviary we go. This is also where we met up with Shawnee Peterson, an expert in the world of hummingbirds. She spends nearly every morning walking the aviary to monitor this flourishing population. Okay, now here in the aviary, how many species do we have? We have four. Okay. Costas, mm -hmm. Annas, Broad-tailed, and Broad-billed. Awesome, so we have the chance of seeing all four of these today. I'm hopeful. There's one flying right behind is your head. Right, right behind right? me? It's right behind you. What kind is that? Ah, little female Annas. Ah, cool. So the females are a little bit duller in coloration than the males. The males usually have a brighter throat, right? right? Really, really bright gorget area. That would be the throat area. Hummingbirds are tiny masters of the sky. And before we began searching, Shawnee wanted to give us a quick lesson so that we would have an appreciation for their amazing abilities. Okay, so let's talk about wing speed. If there's one incredible trait that the hummingbird has, it's the fact that its wings can go so fast. Now, how many strokes can that hummingbird do this a minute? Almost 4,800. Wow, 4,800 strokes in a minute. Can you imagine? I mean, I'm sure if I sat here and did this, <laughs> It would I take me half, lift. <laughs> half a day, and I'm not going to lift off the ground. And these hummingbirds, I mean, I'm watching them. Look at this. They're just mm -hmm. flying back and forth, hovering. Zoo, zoo, zoo. And they can move forward, backwards, up and down. That's crazy. That's great, yeah. Now, your heart rate must be going pretty quick if you're <laughs> flying that fast. How fast are their heart rates? Over 1,200. <sighs> this is one impressive little animal, that is for sure. All of that power packed into, I mean, these guys are tiny. They're like that. Yeah, about three grams. So that's about the weight of a penny. Wow, so you're telling me that a bird this size, I mean, he is tiny, but he only weighs as much as a penny. Yeah. That is impressive. Walk quietly, keep alert, and with just a little patience, you will soon begin to see hummingbirds darting left and right. I certainly wasn't allowed to capture any of these birds, so for me, this experience was all about having a close encounter of the hummingbird kind. One thing I think that we did that was really smart is we made this aviary pretty low. So if the birds do, they nest very close to mm -hmm. people and people get to enjoy them very close instead of the birds being up very high. And the, the temperature in here is significantly lower than it is outside of the aviary. And I notice you have a lot of shade kind of netting and, and the mesh top. Does that help to keep the temperature down? It does. It's uh, really nice in the summertime. I see that there are spider webs all over the place in here. Now, is that something that hummingbirds like? Are they eating spiders? No but that is the glue that keeps the nest together. Oh, really? And when we opened this exhibit, that our nests were sort of falling apart. Mm -hmm. And we were like, what are we missing? And it was because we'd had to pretty much start from ground zero. Mm -hmm. We were missing spiders, so we brought in labyrinth spiders mm -hmm. and they started spinning their webs. And immediately during uh, breeding season, the females would come in and start stealing all that and weave them into their nest. I can feel that, that that webbing is very strong and like you said, stretchy. So as the chicks are growing, then the nest actually expands with the baby birds. Exactly. That is really, really cool. Symbiotic relationship between a bird and a spider. Never heard of that one before. <laughs> 
Ashani, what I love so much about this aviary is that it feels like we're out there in the wild. Now, you do have the enclosure over top, but you barely notice it, and you can get so incredibly close to these hummingbirds. I know, it's a terrific experience. Yeah. Oh, jeez, look at how close this one is right here. Absolutely. Look at that. Look at how comfortable he is getting that close to us. Wow. Is that normal for them to just come this close? I mean, we've been standing still for a minute. Well, they know that they're getting their lunch from us, so... So he might think Coyote has my lunch. Maybe. Oh, there he goes. Wow, how cool was that? I mean, we were literally inches from that hummingbird. Ah, oh, that's truly an experience I'm never going to forget. Shawnee, thank you so much for having us out here today to Thanks the Hummingbird Aviary. Yes. Oh my gosh, the next time you guys are in the Southwest, make sure you come and visit the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. So many amazing animals to get up close with. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you are ever in the Southwest, make sure to visit the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum so that you can get up close with hummingbirds. If you want to see more of their amazing animals, make sure to check out the first episode we filmed at this incredible living museum. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.